So, um, how have you been these past 25 years? Good. Hey, moved out of my parents' house. Rad. Love the freedom. Well, you don't have to hide the bong anymore. Hey, did you get any flowers lately? Uh, several times. Apparently, I have a secret admirer. I signed all the cards Jason. I thought it was Jason Priestley. You're disappointed. No, I just wish I hadn't slept with Jason Priestley. How's the new inn? Coming along. Uh, we're gonna have horses. Talking horses? No, just the regular ones. We could get married there. Where? The inn, on horseback. Oh, so you unwired my father, huh? Per Richard's request, you wanted it. Emily doesn't. I cannot win with her. You're getting a triple freeze from her. It's nice, takes the onus off her daughter. But the more she hates me, the more likely it is that you will go out with me. That's not necessarily the case. Good, because I gotta make some serious progress with her. Good luck with that. Maybe I should get her to invite me to dinner. <laughs> ha. Hey. I'm sorry, as if you control these things. Well, I'm not God, but I have influence. No way is she inviting you to dinner. Would you have a problem with me staying for dinner? No, you won't stay because you won't be invited. I will. Let's see it. Hey. Hi, hon. Uh, Jason, this is my daughter, Rory. Rory, Jason. Right, Scooper. Digger. Sorry, Digger. It's nice to meet you, and I don't really go by Digger anymore. What is it, P. Digger now? I'll just call you Jason. You're a very kind young lady. Oh, dear. Jason, I just hit F12 and everything's going to hell. Easily fixed. Hey, how are things? Surreal, on a whole new level of surreal. What happened? I was harangued by an incensed ballerina. That is Salvador Dali surreal. What mm -hmm. ballerina? From the ballet we went to, the one I wrote about, this girl marched up to me in the dining hall and busted me on the bad review I gave her. Uh, wait a second. Are people allowed to do that? Yell at the reviewer? I frown on it. I mean, it's upsetting and ridiculous, and I'll probably laugh at it someday, but not today. What did you write? Well, I brought it for you to read. Tell me what you think, because my picky editor loved it. I mean, loved it. Sure, sure. This is very weird. Very weird. <clears throat> Whoa. What? Well, you really hated this ballet. Well, we both really hated it, remember? Yeah, I do. Jeez. Oh, no, come on. Well, this is just so harsh. Again, you were there. I know, but there's something about seeing it in print. It, people don't write as mean as they talk, except you. I wrote what I felt. The roll around the bra strap? That was your line. It was? I'm awful. And it's not even critical of the ballerina's skills. It's critical of the costumer's skills. I know, but it sounds like she couldn't fit into a standard leotard. She couldn't. But again, the costumer should have put her in a larger leotard. Do I see the word hippo coming up? Okay, give me the paper. I'm sorry, it's just so specific. It's what I saw, so I wrote it. That's what the editor told me to do. Well, then you did the right thing. I was too harsh. Well, you said yourself you were supposed to be. Rory, you're here. Good. Hi, Grandma. Don't tell me Richard's still traipsing around with that thing. Richard, please come inside and close the door. Coming, coming. Oh, Jason, you're still here. Oh, I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye to you, Emily. What you got there, Grandpa? A laptop. The Gilmore house is now wireless. Cool. And the laptop is now going back in its case because dinner is ready. I'll be taking off, everybody. I've got a cheeseburger waiting for me. Goodbye, Jason. A cheeseburger? That's not a proper meal. Oh, please, Richard, it's my favorite meal. I've had one for dinner three times this week. Oh, you're joking. With the right bread and meat, a cheeseburger can make a fine meal. Thank you, Emily. You're defending cheeseburgers, Emily? When was the last time you had one? This isn't just any cheeseburger, Richard. There's this stand that makes them special for me. A stand? I hear those can be very good. Emily, are we going to send this young bachelor out for fast food? Oh, no, no, I couldn't stay. I'd be putting you out. Nonsense. I'm not sure we have enough. We always have enough. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't hear of it. Emily, my business partner is going to be standing outside eating a cheeseburger. Jason, would you like to join us for dinner? The cheeseburger will just have to wait. I'll tell the cook. Cheeseburger.